Welcome to New Zealand Music Month 2019 and the New Zealand Music Commission. This video is about understanding chords and something called inversions. If you've played the intro to the New Zealand hit song for today, then this is a look at what you've been playing or what you've been hearing. So let's start with a common chord, also known as a triad, the chord of C. This chord contains C, E and G. C is the root. E is the third. And G is the fifth. Root, third, fifth. Every chord has a root, a third and a fifth. Over here is the G chord, with G as the root, B as the third, and D as the fifth. Back to the C chord. Here it is on paper. C, E, G. What you see here and here it's called a root position chord, where the lowest note heard is the root. But what if we perform our magic trick and move the root like this, or like this? It's the same notes, but in a different order. Now, the third is the lowest note that we hear. This is no longer in root position, but it's called the first inversion. But wait, there's more. If I move the third, we now have the fifth as the lowest note. This is called a second inversion. Let's review that. If the root is lowest, it's root position. If the third is lowest, it's a first inversion. And if the fifth is lowest, it's second inversion. On paper and on piano we can spot the inversions by looking at the spacing. Here the notes are evenly spaced with a th the interval of a third and a third. And the first inversion we've got a wider gap here. That's the interval of a fourth. And on the second inversion, we've got the interval of a fourth. 